Hey, good morning, New Hope. This is Pastor Austin. I hope that you're doing well. just wanted to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, uh, verses 19 through 23. This is the Apostle Paul talking and just wanted to challenge you from his words and his perspective. He said this, Though I am free I be and belong to no one, I have made myself a slave to everyone to win as many as possible. To the Jews, I became like a Jew to win the Jews. To those under the law, I became like one under the law so as to win those under the law. To those not having the law, I became like one not having the law so as to win those not having the law. To the weak, I became weak to win the weak. And I have become all things to all people so that by all possible means I might save some. I do all this for the sake of the gospel that I may share in its blessing. And I love Paul's perspective in this because he is so people oriented that he's not wrapped up in styles as he is giving people Jesus. And uh, I'm thankful that I'm a part of a church that has a lot of different personalities that are able to uh, shine from whether it's preaching or leading in worship or even styles of music. Um, we're a church that is reaching all people because we have multiple different personalities. As you know, there's a big personality difference between Pastor Hawkins giving a message and Pastor Weaver giving a message. And uh, same with the worship teams, there's a little bit of a different feel and, and style in, in all three of our rotating teams and even in the youth group and in the children's ministry. But what the common thing in all of the ministries that take place at New Hope is that we want you to have Jesus. And even though the outside packaging might look a little bit different, the inside and the message of Jesus Christ is the same. And there's the same strong truth uh, that is presented in all of all of our different ministries. I'm so thankful for the other pastors on staff and their ability to look at something a little bit different and present something a little bit different than I would. I'm so thankful for the other worship leaders who lead differently and the different styles of music and generationally and even just stylistically. Um, I, I'm so thankful for that because um, just as music has changed and uh, we've gone from the Gaithers uh, to Hillsong or Elevation, uh, the, all of those music styles minister to different people of different age groups, and it's important to see the value in all of them. So I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for our creative children's and youth pastors that, that keep things relevant for, for my kids. And um, although I grew up on Onward Christian Soldiers and, and uh, you know, all these different kind of old uh, Christian songs, you know, we get to have the orange curriculum and wonderful songs posted by Pastor Anna and Courtney and things that relate much more to the culture that my kids are growing up versus the culture that I grew up in. And so I'm so thankful uh, that New Hope is a church that stands for, for truth, but I'm also thankful for all the other churches in the surrounding community. I've seen so many churches doing so many wonderful things for the Lord during this time of crisis. And I'm thankful for the different personalities. I'm, I'm thankful for, for uh, churches that might be a little bit uh, more liturgical or, or whatever it is. And, and their expression of worship is different. And just because it's different, it doesn't make ours better or theirs better. It just means that God is a creative God and he's reaching all of his creation in the ways that they might connect with them. And so in the same way someone might really connect with God through nature, someone else might really connect with God through architect and, and through, um, you know, beautiful buildings or cities or, or whatever it might be. And so I just want to encourage all of us to really set aside uh, our preferences and remember that what's being presented is Jesus Christ. And though it might taste a little bit different and it might not be to our first preference of whoever might be preaching this week or whoever might be leading this week or whatever it might be, the whole purpose and what we're doing here at New Hope is to give God glory. And I hope that you guys see that and I hope that your life reflects that to give God glory in everything that you do and that God would flow through you in the unique way that God has made you. God bless you. 
and keep you safe and can't wait to see you this week. Take care.